What do you miss the most about your childhood? For me, it was Spider-Man. From being a toddler in Queens playing the PS1 classic, Spider-Man 2, the Raimi trilogy, the amazing Spider-Man 2. Ah! They have all been an integral part of my time being a kid, just like each and every one of you watching may have something that you're nostalgic about. And there might be moments where you wonder what it would be like to live back in those simpler times. But the thing is, with this nostalgia, it often turns into a version for the present moment. You've all seen it, look at the comment section of a popular song released in the past 10-20 to 20 years. As you grow up, it becomes so easy to feed into these feelings and to start resenting life as an adult. But why does this happen? How do you actually start enjoying adulthood? Well, there's a work of fiction I read years back that can help us with this very issue when growing up. One of my favorites that I'm sure many of you know of is Ultimate Spider-Man. Released in 2005, this game was a direct adaptation of the comic series with the same name that began at the turn of the century. I started reading this series in 7th grade and among the countless things I love about it, there is one issue in particular that contains a valuable lesson where it explains the common tragedy that occurs when transitioning from childhood to adulthood. Ultimate Spider-Man issue 80 written by Brian Michael Bendis with art by Mark Bagley was published not long before the video game on July 20th, 2005. As part 2 of the Warrior storyline, we see Kingpin aka Wilson Fisk lure Peter to his building to manipulate him into doing some dirty work for him. Amid their conversation, Kingpin details the landscape of the people society as a whole to explain the public scrutiny that Spider-Man receives on a daily basis. Specifically, he explains that this hatred comes from a place of projection. Projection of people's insecurities from realizing that they themselves are not special like Spidey. He explains to Peter that they don't want to be reminded of how weak-willed and sheep-like and unspecial they are. Kingpin claims that the general population is gleeful to be this way, and that Peter is unable to foresee this reality due to him still being a child. He mentions that he'll soon be met with this harsh slap of reality. I remember reading this back then, and I really thought to myself, this cold slap of reality. And it kind of hit me that this is the tragedy that occurs from going from childhood to adulthood. Who's on? When we're kids, we do whatever we want. We're like literally so present in the moment and pure that we're free from rigid belief systems and perceptions. All that's on our mind is that we're thinking about what food we wanna eat, what TV show we wanna watch. We're not worrying about what bills we have to pay and how we're gonna provide for our families because we have the luxury of being free from responsibility. But then what happens? We try to take our inner child with us into the real world and then inevitably get hit with this cold slap of reality. We're told to go to college, get a job, don't express ourselves, don't be too weird. You know, you have to stay in life to be mature. This is where Kingpin got it all wrong. People don't want to conform. They don't do it out of desire to. They do it out of fear of the unknown, instability in life, and social pressure. This is the sad trap of adulthood. This slap of reality Kingpin describes is not a forced hand, but a fear response to the nature of society as a whole that leads us to this overload of nostalgia and wishing to be a kid again. And I want to make something very, very clear for all of you watching. I'm not asking you to quit your job and drop out of college. This is about your personality and relationship with fear. I'm not advocating for you to develop Peter Pan syndrome. There are responsibilities that you have in this life. And what I am saying is that we want to bring this responsibility we have and let it blend beautifully with the inner child that we have in each and every one of us. To put it simply, the slap of reality is a crossroads not between pursuing your dreams and being different, but between living on your own terms and living life on society's terms. There are two sides to this danger. For one, this includes other people. Nobody's ever going to believe in your dreams like you do. And there are many people out there who will reject the expression of your true self out of insecurity. If you're not confident and convicted in who you are and your purpose, you won't be living a happy life. My main point here is that you must protect your inner child at all costs. There are many forces in this world that heed by Kingpin's words. People are fueled by trauma, and they don't want to feel insecure from knowing that there are successful people out there who managed to protect that inner child because they were strong and grounded enough to do so. The second source of this danger is yourself, which I see as the most important. Personal tragedies, depression, failure, bullying and many other facets of life can drain your mental psyche, pushing you to live in fear and to settle for the safe path. If you give in, you slowly become the very naysayers that you swore against. So how do you fend off this danger? You need strength, confidence, and courage to actualize yourself. Who are you really? And no, I'm not asking you what others want you to be. I'm asking you, 
What do you want to be? It's a thin line that's deeply rooted by fear. And I mean, all of this is. Actualization of yourself is a lifelong endeavor, but it's all about the journey, not the destination. You have to be strong through all the blood, sweat, and tears you know you won't give in. If you accept this invitation to the hero's journey, leave a like, and if you need help, join the Discord server for the guidance and support to aid you. Thank you all for watching. With great power and great responsibility, signing off.